After 20 years as a trial lawyer, I founded a technology company. And the thing I enjoyed about it most was it gave me an opportunity not to fight with people, which is what a trial lawyer does, but rather to work with people to build things to make people's lives better or easier. I became exposed to technology when I got married back in the late 80s, and my wife was an MBA student and brought a computer home. I was a trial lawyer back then, and I was convinced there had to be something you could do with these computers to make a trial lawyer's job easier. As email came on the scene, we began to see that the world got smaller. It used to be that we could wait for the mail to come and then spend a day or two thinking about whatever the question was or the issue was and know we could send it back in the mail. But suddenly things were transmitted instantly. People in New York could be working with people in Denver in real time. They used to say in the old days that justice delayed was justice denied. But today, with the explosion of digital content and the globalization of the world, justice you can't afford is no justice at all. After 20 years as a trial lawyer, I founded a technology company. And the thing I enjoyed about it most was it gave me an opportunity not to fight with people, which is what a trial lawyer does, but rather to work with people to build things to make people's lives better or easier. In the end, the technology was about finding better ways to deliver justice to the people. Technology has simply changed the world as we know it. And every change has been one that made things easier to do, made it cheaper to do them, amplified what we could do, and to help us make better use of all the resources in the world. It's not really about disruption. The goal is to find better ways to do things than have ever been done before, to provide more value for people at a lower cost, to lift them up with a better life, to share ideas and knowledge that leads to more ideas and knowledge. It's not about disruption, although disruption happens. It's about finding ways to do things better and to solve problems that people thought couldn't be solved. Technology is for people with curiosity, to change the way the world works, to make it better, and for those who can see the way it ought to be and are willing to put their neck out to try to make it the way it can be. Technology is for people who have a dream, who have a vision, who don't just see the world the way it is, but they see the world the way it might be, and they've got the nerve to stick, put themselves out there and try to change it to the way it ought to be. It, it breaks down barriers, it connects us worldwide, and it shows us better way to use our resources. So if you've got imagination and you've got the heart to even risk failure, technology is for you.